Leone down the far side, working on number 34, Allison Meadows. Now it's to Alyssa Moser, one of the maiden's captains. And this one too far for Megan Sins, and it's picked up by Kalisha Chase. Sins right on Chase, however. And contact foul on Chase. Moser quickly toward the center. Does not hit anybody, so it is no goal. You have to touch the ball by somebody on your own team or another player before it goes into that net. Sort of like an indirect kick in soccer. Ben Salem is rewarded with a 16-yard free hit taken by Ava Lynn. Willis quickly to, to the ball. She'll send it wide of everybody. And picking it up is Alyssa Moser with a great forecheck. And now it'll be sent out by Rie Miller. Good keep by Sarah Ducilli, but it's picked up near side by Dan Stevens. Jen Stevens, I beg your pardon. Now taken away by Ducilli. Sends it up. A little too far for Moser. And Kristen Clayton, the sweeper, will let that ball go over the end line. It will be a 16-yard free hit for Ben Salem. Intercepted by Nikki Leone quickly off of that free hit. And I think Nikki Leone stepped on that ball, so Ben Salem will get their free drive coming out of the zone. Out over the near sideline, Megan Sins will chase down that ball behind us and we'll take it from the near sideline. And she'll inbound it near side. Tops that one and it's picked up by Alicia Rowan. But she sends it over the near sideline and Megan Sins will try again with another inbound. Megan Sins tops it again, and it's picked off again by Rowan, trying to get a give-and-go going with her teammate, Jen Stevens. And Stevens gets by, uh, excuse me, Ducilli down at defense. Ducilli will pick it up nicely. She'll drive it out of the zone, trying to get to Leon, but can't connect. Leon with good checking on defense, but has it taken away from her. And now just inside the 16-yard line, it's Lindsey Stokes. Kalisha Chase will now control, working on Megan Sins, and Megan Sins will have none of that, and draws the foul. So good defense by Sins results in that turnover for the Maidens. Nikki Leone cannot get by her defender, Ava Lynn. And Alyssa Moser draws the foul, looking quickly to her other captain on this team, Jamie Willis, but it's picked up by Katie Somar and kicked out nicely by the goalkeeper, Janelle Gorey. Good save early on for Gorey. That was a nice save. You just got to come out and make them as a goaltender. It was a really good save. Molly Meehan now toward midfield. She'll whack it up looking for Sue Ducilli, Sarah Ducilli's older sister. And she'll quickly drive it up. Leone gets a piece of it. And it goes over the end line just before Katie Somar can pick it up. A good hustle by Somar, but to no avail as it's taken out now by Ava Lynn. Intercepted by Sue Ducilli. Bodies flying all over the place. The foul is called on Alicia Rowain on obstruction. So Ducilli will take this drive for the maiden. She'll play it up to Jamie Willis. Willis has her pass intercepted, and it will be Ben Salem ball now. Taken out by Ava Lynn across midfield. Mogenberg cannot control. She overruns it, but Sarah Ducilli picks it up. Molly Meehan intercepts at midfield. Now it's sent back into Benselm territory. Ava Lynn sends it up the far sideline. Molly Meehan hustling over. Has it picked off by Alicia Rowain off of Mogenberg, and it will be Ben Salem with another free hit into North Penn territory. So we're scoreless right now early on. Glad you could join us on North Penn Television. Kyle Berger along with Brian Patterson with Suburban One Field Hockey Action. Alyssa Moser, great move past the defender on that play, Rie Miller. But she's run down by Lindsey Stokes. Drops it back to Sins who will send it into the zone. Off the foot of Lindsey Stokes, no call. And Megan Sins with good control. Stokes again. 
He draws the obstruction from Sins, a free hit for the Owls. Good drive by Stokes into the maiden zone, gets by Mogenberg, but picking up for her was Molly Meehan. This one will go out of bounds. Right at us, basically. Yeah, you don't want to draw too many penalties. It's the worst thing you can do because then they get the offensive charge, you know. So you want to watch that. So Ben Salem will inbound this one. It is Rie Miller taking it. And now picking it up for the Owls is Alicia Rowane. Foul on the play, resulting in a Ben Salem free hit just inside that 16-yard line. And it's taken out now by Alicia, Alyssa Moser. She has a step on her defender. Plenty of room out there. And she gets by her defender, and Leon picks up now. Good job by Leon, but it is taken away from her nicely by Rie Miller. Good job by the defender of Ben Selm. But Leon lays that stick down, sends it off of Miller. And that's a dangerous play, so Ben Selm will get their free hit. Not a very good one, however. It's picked up by Ducilli and centered to Willis. But coming out with it is Ava Lynn. And draws another North Penn foul. A free hit now for Ben Selm. Lindsey Stokes will take it. Sarah Ducilli will pick it up across midfield, looking for Willis and gets her but good checking by Lindsey Stokes results in that turnover. This one is sent over the near side touch line by Kalisha Chase, and Megan Sins will take this free hit right in front of us. She'll send it off of Stokes, but it's picked up by Willis, and now Leone trying to center, tops it. And a slashing call on Ben Salem, and Jamie Willis will send toward the middle. Bouncing around in the scoring circle toward the middle. Moser can't come up with a shot there, but she'll pick it up, but it's called for a kicked ball. The maidens, or excuse me, the Ben Salem Owls will have this free hit coming out. Rie Miller has it intercepted by Sue Ducilli. Somar cannot pick that up as Ava Lynn came in quickly to take that away from her. Now it's Alyssa Moser. It's called for hitting that with the wrong side of the stick, I believe, and it will be another Ben Salem free hit. Lindsey Stokes sends it far and away from everybody, and it will be yet another Ben Salem inbound as it was off of a Maidens player. Taking it will be Ava Lynn just around midfield on that far side. And she'll put it into play. Gets by Mogenberg. Now picking it up is Amanda Two. The shot saved Trumbor, and it goes out of bounds. That was that was a nice save. That, that could have been a goal right there. I mean, Trumborn just came out and just made a great save on that. Of course, Jody Trumbor was Suburban One All League First Team selection last year as a goalkeeper. She's looking to repeat that. Yeah, she's a good goalkeeper to have in there. North Penn. It's a testament to their excellent defense has recorded seven shutouts this year. Their offense has scored 50 goals so far, and their defense has just given up 24 goals. And you won't have that kind of defense without a stellar goaltender such as Jody Trumbor, Brian. No, not at all. I mean, your goaltending is mostly your main part of the defense. If she's not playing good, then none of your defense will. So if you have a good goaltender, your team's going to win games, and that's what wins the games, the goaltending. Alyssa Moser will draw this foul and she'll drive it back into play for the Maidens. She'll just push it over to Sins. A little pressure on the play and she'll send it off at the foot of Christian Boradale. But it was called as a kick ball, rightfully so, by the officials. And now it's Amanda Spaulding toward the middle, but sent out quickly by the defense of the Owls. Nikki Leone does draw that foul inside that scoring circle and it will be a Maiden's Corner, their first of the game. And this is the number one scoring opportunity in field hockey. Yeah, definitely coming out from there is definitely a number one scoring. So we're gonna try Here's this first one. The shot, save, and sent out again off of the foot of Leon. And a good save on that one by Janelle Gorey showing quick reflexes. Alyssa Moser has one of the best shots on North Penn's team. Great back checking by Ducilli on that one. And it's sent down that near sideline. Mogenberg roams over and plays it nicely out to Sarah Ducilli. 
Jamie Willis at midfield. Draws contact and she'll get it back quickly into play. Sends it through a maze of Ben Salem defenders and into Katie Somar. Can she keep it in? No. Just barely across that end line, but good hustle by Somar. Just a bit too long for her off of the stick of Willis. And it will be a 16 yard free drive for Ben Salem. This one will go all the way down into Maiden's territory. Leslie Mogenberg will take it. Not a very good play there as it goes past Molly Meehan over the far sideline and Ben Salem will take advantage of this with a free hit. Jamie Willis up now to Nikki Leone. Good job on that high pass to trap it by Alyssa Moser. She'll reverse her field, send it back to Jamie Willis toward the middle of the scoring area, but it's taken by number 17, Kristen Clayton, but a penalty corner is called on that play. And Molly Meehan will come in again, the second corner of the afternoon for the Maidens. Like you said, Kyle, this is a great time to be scoring because you're in great position. So it goes back to Moser. She traps it over to Willis. The one-timer cannot connect. Mm. And Meehan cannot connect on that either, trying to make a turnaround shot toward the Ben Salem goal. And it goes over the end line. And coming out was Rie Miller with that. Not a very good hit on the free drive. Intercepted by Moser and sent across the field. Maidens will get a free hit just around that 25 yard line. And Jamie Willis will take it toward the middle. Wide of the goal and a 16 yarder coming out for Ben Salem. That was another great scoring opportunity. They're, they're getting a lot of them because they're so close. You know, and they got them. They're, they're actually taking them. That's good. Willis intercepts that pass. Nikki Leone trying to pick it up and does toward the middle. Sent out by Kristen Clayton. Over the end line unintentionally. That will result in a long hit for the Maidens. Setting it up is Amanda Spaulding. She'll send it back to Molly Meehan who hits it off of Jackie Neal. And Meehan will try to send it back in but cannot. Taken out now by Ava Lynn, but picked off nicely by Spaulding. Foul called on that play against North Penn, and it will be Ben Salem getting the free out. And really what we've seen early on in this first half, Brian, most of the action has been to our right in the Ben Salem zone. Yeah, that yeah. sure makes it easy on Jody Trumbor back in the maiden's goal. Yeah, Ben Salem's just going to try to get it in their zone for a little bit, give their goaltender a rest, and try and get some action in North Penn zone. So I think we're going to... I hope we don't see that, but, you know, they're going to try to do that. So. Of course, the uh, last time we brought you field hockey action on North Penn Television, it was a 10 nothing blowout against the Truman Lady Tigers. And the Tigers did not register one shot in that entire field hockey game. And so Jody Trumper got a real easy shutout in that one, and she's seen minimal action thus far. But Ben Salem is going to try to get back into the offensive swing of things. Still scoreless, however. And Ben Salem will now move the ball into North Penn territory with this inbound. Like you were saying, though, Kyle, you don't want your goalie never to get any shots because you want your goalie to stay, you know, uh, in the game and you want her to be ready at all times. So sometimes you do want those shots, but not any to go in. So. Megan Sins is a little upset with herself after sending that one over the near sideline and Taking it in is Rie Miller. Toward the center, picked off beautifully by Susan Ducilli and sent out of harm's way, roaming back for the Owls is Kristen Clayton, who will trap. Working against Nikki Leone, she'll push it over toward the center of the field. Willis with great defense, taking it away from Mich Michelle Wurstshafter. And contact on Leone will result in Ben Selms' drive now. Off of the stick of Moser, picked up by Ducilli, sent off of Michelle Wirtshafter, and that will be a free hit. Sending it toward the middle of the field was number 22, Amanda Two. And Meehan will take the safe play back to Ducilli. He'll send it over to the link, Megan Sins. Off the foot of Two, no call. And Two working against Megan Sins. Sent in, and Susan Ducilli will get it out of harm's way. Now picking it up is Rie Miller toward the middle and picked up by Willis. 
take another whack at it. And off the foot of Rie Miller, but that ball was ruled to be too high off the ground, so it will be a free hit for Ben Salem. Yeah, in this game they don't wear pads, so they take it, you know, pretty much good precautions. You know, if it's too high, they'll, they'll call it, so that's, that's good. Yeah, whoever says field hockey isn't a rough sport obviously has never played the game. Or the only been pads. On, or been those on the sidelines like we are right, Kyle. Yeah, the only uh, pads that they wear are shin guards, similar to soccer shin guards, and the only players with full pads are the goalkeepers. And really, they're facing some pretty hard shots. If you take a look at some of the shots that the likes of Alyssa Moser, Nikki Leone, and Jamie Willis are taking, those balls are moving along rather quickly, and I would not like to be one to have to stop one of those shots. Uh, no, I wouldn't like to be in that goal either, Kyle. <laughs> so Ben Salem, as we said, looking to get an offensive push, finally attains one and gets a couple shots on Jody Trumbor, but she sends them out, and it will be a penalty corner, Ben Salem's first of the match. I'd like to make a correction before we go any further. In goal for the Maidens is sophomore Megan Schneider. We've been saying it was Jody Trumbor. That's who we thought was going to start the game, and with these pennies on, it's hard to pick up the numbers, so... The goalie for this whole match so far has been Megan Schneider, the sophomore. We apologize for that. We were unable to pick up the number. Molly Meehan has it go off her foot, and it will be another penalty corner for Ben Salem. Picking it up is Ava Lynn. She'll push it out to Rie Miller, who centers. Good save by the goalkeeper, Megan Schneider. Unintentionally over that end line, so it will be a long hit for Ben Salem inbounding this one. Taking it is number nine, Kristen Barradale. Toward the center, kicked out by Schneider. And off of the foot of a maiden, so Ben Salem with its third penalty corner. Ava Lynn will take this in. She'll send it back again to Rie Miller, similar to that previous corner. She'll top it, picked up by Meehan. Miller picks it up, however, for Ben Salem. Toward the middle, too, with the shot. And kicked out nicely by Megan Schneider. Free hit for Ben Salem, however. And taking it as Rie Miller. She'll pick up play again. Working on Megan Sins. Sins with a poke check. And draws the foul and she'll get a free out. Sent out now, it's Nick Leone on the near side. Slapping it toward the middle of the field where it is picked off by Ben Salem's Kristen Clayton. And now Megan Sins controlling. Draws that foul and she'll send it off the foot of two, no call, Moser. Great inside out move against number 28, Rie Miller. And she'll send it off of Ava Lynn across the end line. A long hit for the Maidens taken by number five, Megan Sins. This would be a nice time to just set up a play to try to score. I mean, they're going to be looking for it, of course. It's Alyssa Moser toward the middle now. Has it sent off of Ben Salem's defense, and it will be another long hit for the Maidens on the near sideline. Megan sends a look toward the middle of the field but tops it. Alyssa Moser could not pick it up and now it's number nine, Kristen Boradale for Ben Salem. Jamie Willis picks off Alicia Rowane's pass but can't get anything out of that. Good keep by Amanda too but she does get around Megan Sins and out toward midfield trap by Molly Meehan and it'll be sent all the way down across Ben Salem's end line a 16 yard free hit will result for the Owls we're still scoreless here in the first half we're probably about halfway through 35 minute halves continuous clock and of course we don't have the official time we can only guess that we're about halfway through this one this ball come right in front of our cameraman Chad Powell 
And it will be a free hit for the Maidens right in front of us. Megan Sins will take it. Tops that one, and it will be taken by Alicia Rowane of Ben Salem. Susan Ducilli working on her on defense and draws the foul. Molly Meehan will slap it deep into Ben Salem territory by Nikki Leone, however, and taken out quickly by Rie Miller. Denise Bailey of Ben Salem just into the game draws that foul. Now it's Kalisha Chase pushing the back of Jamie Willis. But Jamie Willis is called for that foul. Sue Ducilli just over the center field line taken by Alyssa Moser with speed. She's got plenty of room. Great move past the defender into the, shot, into the slot. Couple shots but kicked out by Ben Salem. And Sue Ducilli has called for contact right there. It looked like Janelle Gorey, the goalkeeper, came up with a couple big saves on Alyssa Moser right there inside that scoring circle, preserving the shutout so far. Yeah, there's a couple big saves, game uh, saving saves, of course. And defenses has got to just try to get it out of there and help the goaltender. So the Maidens keep play on the right half of the field in Ben Salem territory and it will be a long hit. This will be Amanda Spalding. She'll drop it off to Molly Meehan. Sending to the middle, Leon trying that turnaround shot that she has a specialty of, but can't connect. Sarah Ducilli with the drive into just across that 25 yard line. It's Jamie Willis looking to center and does with the shot. Does it go in? No. Just wide of that net, it looked like Alyssa Moser and Katie Somar had a couple whacks at that, but it goes wide of that net. I think the defense helped out a little bit on that one because you saw a lot of defense went around there, a bunch of person around there, so defense helped out on that one. Maria Gretz tops the 16-yard free hit coming out. Jamie Wills draws the foul. She'll try to get it back in quickly. She'll drive it too high off the ground. But it will be a penalty corner, I believe, for the Maidens. Meehan will come in to take this one for North Penn. So Molly Meehan has Alyssa Moser and Sue Ducilli at the top of that scoring circle, but she'll send back to Jamie Willis toward the middle, looking for a cutting Katie Somar, but cannot connect. Missing by only a few inches on that one. That was a bang, bang play. And Katie Somar would have had a slam dunk on that one. Alyssa Moser picks off this free drive by Ben Salem. But North Penn cannot convert on it, but it's picked up by Megan Sins. And it will be a North Penn free hit. Jamie Willis will take it. Toward the middle and sent out. Now into Ben Salem territory. A kicked ball by Ben Salem's Kristen Clayton. And North Penn with another corner, penalty corner opportunity. We'll just try to center it here and try to get a scoring chance going. See, you see in like the goal, they have like all those defense and just trying to keep it out. So we'll try to score here. It's a great setup. Willis getting that one-timer set up to Alyssa Moser, but it goes high. So no goal. And a timeout has been called by Ben Salem. So we have a little break in the action here. We can talk about what's going on so far. And Brian, for the most part, about two thirds of this game has been played in the Ben Salem area. And they haven't really been able to capitalize. Obviously they haven't scored yet, but Janelle Gorey has done an adequate job in goal for the Ben Salem Owls. And back in the maiden's end, Megan Schneider, the sophomore, getting the start today in place of senior Jody Trumbor, has done a good job as well and hasn't had to come up too big so far in this game, but she might have to stand tall later in the game as time progresses and Ben Selm can concentrate on that attack. Yeah, that's why it's good that she's getting the shots now so she'll be warmer you know, later in the game when they really do need her, when Ben Selm will be in the uh, zone a lot more. But like you said... Uh, Ben Salem's goaltender is coming up a lot big. I mean, they could have had a lot more. Uh, ben, uh, North Penn could have had a lot of goals there, so 
Ben Salem's goal is keeping the Ben Salem Owls into this. And I think that this has really kept them in this game. So taking a look at some of the stats for North Penn this season thus far, Alyssa Moser is your team scoring leader. She has 15 goals and 7 assists. Nikki Leone is in second with 12 goals and 1 assist. And Jamie Willis has 11 goals and 12 assists. And really those three have been the core of this team. All three-year varsity letter winners and Jamie Willis and Alyssa Moser, the captains, really two great all-around players. And they've contributed on both sides of the ball, both offensively and defensively. Of course, Jamie Willis, one of the better athletes in this school. Of course, one of the guards on the North Penn girls basketball team. She'll be a captain this year more than likely. And she also plays lacrosse. And she was one of the better players on the lacrosse team last year. So a three-sport varsity athlete, Jamie Willis. And she's really done an excellent job for the maidens on the, uh, on the field hockey team rather this year. So play is resumed and North Penn will have the ball now. Alyssa Moser cannot get by Ava Lynn. Lynn gets by Nikki Leone and draws the contact foul. And she'll take the free drive for Ben Salem. Molly Meehan picks up the ball now and sends it across the middle of the field. Good defense by Megan Sins. And she'll send it back to Ducilli, who picks it up to her sister just at midfield. And Susan Ducilli sends it in. Nikki Leone will pick it up. Double team trying to center off of the foot of number 37, Maria Gretz. And now it's sent into Ben Salem's territory, and it's taken out nicely by Kristen Clayton. Cuts it back toward the middle, where it is picked up by Lindsay Stokes. Megan Sins is able to get it by Jen Stevens. And Sarah Ducilli will pick it up from the Maidens. She could not connect with that pass and is called for the high stick and it will be Ben Salem ball. Rie Miller taking it off of Willis. Looking for Leon and Hazard. Good cut by Leon, but back checking nicely was Ava Lynn on that play. And it will be sent out of harm's way. Ava Lynn is stripped by Nikki Leon, but picking it up now is Kalisha Chase. Megan Sins trying to center, but it goes onto the stick of Alicia Rowane. Good hit by Meehan deep into Ben Salem territory. Roaming over to take it is Maria Gretz. Pressure by Moser does get it by her, however. Megan Sins loses it, but Sarah Ducilli picks it up, sends it to Susan Ducilli. Jamie Willis in a battle right there with Kalisha Chase, and she'll pick it up into the scoring circle. But there's a foul before then. And toward the center, Leon with the shot. Wide of that left post on the setup from Jamie Willis. So Leon looking for her 13th goal of the year. Cannot find lucky number 13 as that one goes left of that post. They're still spending a lot of time in Ben Salem's zone. And I, I think Ben Salem's going to try to get it out of here. Out of their zone, I meant. That one was off of the foot of Katie Somar on the far side and is taken now on a free hit by Kalisha Chase. She's going to try to get it out of her zone. But it's picked off by Nikki Leone in a battle with Ava Lynn, who's called for the foul. It's Leone. And it'll be quickly sent out. Good defense by Sarah Ducilli with the aggressive play coming out to cut off that pass. And her sister will take it up and send it over to Megan Sins. Can she keep it in? Yes, off of the foot of Jen Stevens. And it will be North Penn ball. Megan Sins taking the drive into Ben Salem territory. Picked up quickly by Rie Miller. Good defense by Nikki Leone getting that stick down on the ground to cut off that ball. But it's off of her foot. Good call by the official. Today's officials are Denise Sullivan and Karen Langle doing a good job so far keeping this game under control. And Megan Sins cannot connect on that pass as it goes over the touchline. Free hit will be Lindsey Stokes. Drives it off the stick of North Penn's defense. And it's picked up by Sarah Ducilli. Leone picks it up. 
turns and burns with it. Has Moser on the near side, a good pass, but a little too far. Maidens could have had something going there, just a step ahead of Moser on that pass, and that's the end of the first half, a scoreless tie so far. The Maidens have controlled play for the most part, however, Brian. Uh, yeah, they have controlled it for the most part, but they're, they're, they're staying in Ben Salem's zone a lot, and that's good. Ben Salem's going to try to get it out of there a lot more and be in the maiden zone a lot more. So I think we're going to see a lot more offense this second half. Especially that second part of the first half, Brian. They, they really managed to get a couple corner opportunities and a couple free hits toward the Ben Salem goal. Just could not get the ball by Janelle Gorey. So this game remains scoreless, and a good job on Maiden's defense, although they have not really been tested too harshly in the first half. Megan Schneider is keeping the ball out of the goal for North Penn, the sophomore stepping in, playing nicely. So we'll see what will happen in the second half, and we'll have that for you after this. Stay with us on North Penn Television. We can count on you to do what Smokey says. Smokey says. Only you. No, you don't play with matches. That's not cool. Tell mom and dad to break them. Stop them. Yeah, yeah, that's the rule. And when your folks desire to build a fire, ha, ha. clear brush and branches away. Yeah, 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 yeah. And keep water nearby like you ought to. Yeah, some would say otter. We're all counting on you. Only you can prevent forest fires. No way he's out! It's impossible! Actually, Coach, it's not. See, Jimmy had to travel a distance of 90 feet. He reached an average speed of 15 miles per hour. The ball left two seconds later than Jimmy and had to go one and a half times the distance. If education is important to you, talk to your child's school about raising academic standards. Call 1-800-38-BE-SMART for a free booklet. And be a big league parent. enabling it to reach the destination at a much quicker rate. Did you factor in the wind speed? Welcome back to the Athletic Fields at North Penn High School. I'm Kyle Berger along with Brian Patterson. It's scoreless right now. The Ben Salem Owls bring their game to North Penn to face the Maidens. And both teams pitching a shutout thus far, although it has been a rather productive offensive game for both teams. They just have not been able to finish and put the ball in the net. So North Penn now will be going from right to left wearing those yellow pennies due to the color similarity between the two jerseys. Ben Salem going left to right in the plaid skirts with blue jerseys. Good stop on that play, picking up action now. Amanda Spalding got her stick up on that high ball. Near side play, it's Molly Meehan right in front of us with Nicole Kozlowski. And she draws the foul. She sends it off the shin of Ava Lynn. You could hear grimace and pain right there. Hit just above her shin pad, but she's all right. Sarah Ducilli with a good play, drawing the foul. Megan Sins will take this drive for the Maidens. And across that 25-yard line, picked up by Jamie Willis. She winds, fires! No goal, it's too high. You have to hit that baseboard in the back. A rocket from Jamie Willis's stick, but just too high. That one will not count. That could have been the game's first goal, but just too high, and that was a bullet right there, Brian. Yeah, it was. It was a hard shot. She's got a hard shot. I wouldn't want to be against her in that net. <laughs> Megan Sins locked up on defensive battle with Amanda Two draws the foul quickly to the center. Picked up by Willis over to Nikki Leone. And a good call by the far side official right there, Karen Langle calling obstruction. And so that will result in the penalty corner as that happened inside that scoring circle. Molly Meehan will come down to take this for the Maidens. She'll send it to the top of the circle. It's Moser, one touch over to Willis. Cannot set up the shot, but draws the foul. Coming in hard on that was Rie Miller, so another corner for the Maidens. Molly Meehan will take it again. Willis try to set up a play here and try to center it to one of their other forwards and just try to get it in the net. Moser with the shot. Off the keeper, back and sent out again. Good defense by Janelle Gorey. That was like three big saves right there, Kyle, and that's what you need from your goaltender. So I think we're going to see that the whole game, though, the rest of the game. 
Megan Sins gets slashed there. Draws the foul. Jamie Willis toward the middle into a sea of blue jerseys as it's taken out by Brie Miller. Out across that far side sideline and into the blue crew over there. Now it'll be Megan Sins toward the middle. Gets by everybody and sent off of our white van over there. That's North Penn property. They better watch out with that. That's Ben Salem sending the ball across that end line. It was ruled to be intentional, so it will be a corner for the Maidens. Dropping it off is Meehan to Willis to the middle. Moser fans on that shot. Could not come away with any ball on that. That's a high sticking foul against her, so Ben Salem takes over. Could have been a rocket. That could have been a goal right there. I mean, eh, just happens sometimes, but she's going to come back from that and probably get a goal from that, so we'll see that. Alyssa Moser is called for the foul, and Ben Salem takes it. Kalisha Chase sending up that sideline and over the sideline, and inbounding it will be Megan Sins for the Maidens. Just into the second half, it's scoreless. A 0-0 tie between the Ben Salem Owls and the North Penn Maidens in field hockey Suburban 1 action. Play on the far side, Sarah Ducilli draws the foul. Good aggressive defense by Ducilli. Results in this free hit, Megan Sins, with the drive off of a couple players. Too high, however, and it will be Ben Salem rewarded with a drive on this play. It will be Rie Miller slapping it into North Penn territory. Good defense by Sarah Ducilli, Susan Ducilli rather, and it's taken out quickly by North Penn, Megan Sins. In a tight one-on-one -on -one battle against Rie Miller and Miller comes out with it, but sends it off of Sarah Ducilli. Christina Ford, the sophomore, into the game now on the left wing, working against three Ben Salem defenders, and has it sent off of Ava Lynn's foot. It will be North Penn ball. Into the scoring circle, and it's a foul on North Penn, so it will be a 16-yard free hit taken by Ben Salem. We'll just try to get it out of the zone here, and try not have North Penn capitalize on a goal scoring chance so Lindsey Stokes sends it out but it is intercepted by Jamie Willis the one-on-one -on -one move against Stokes does not work but it's picked up by Nikki Leone trying to center nobody there and Sarah Ducilli picks it up steps around Amanda two toward the middle pops up in the air good trap by Leone the shot by Ford she scores Christina Ford with the first goal of the game, the shutout's over for Ben Salem. And the Maidens are on the board, a 1-0 lead. Christina Ford, the sophomore, I believe, will get credit for that goal. A lot of traffic around the net, and Ford was the lucky one who picked up that. And she'll put it in, 1-0 Maidens. Yeah, that's when they try to capitalize the scores, when there's a lot of traffic around the net because the goaltender can't see a lot. And that's just, you want to get the scoring chances, and they capitalize on it. Nice goal by North Penn. Yeah, not much Janelle Gorey, the uh, goalkeeper for Ben Selm, could do on that one. Ball is already by her by the time she had a chance to react. She was caught maybe a little bit out of position there, and Jamie Willis and Christina Ford both in front, and Ford was able to put that one into the net for the Maidens. So a one nothing lead is the result of that goal by Christina Ford, the sophomore. This drive is sent off the stick of Sarah Ducilli, popped up, and Amanda too takes it. But Ducilli cuts it off. And now a free hit for Ben Salem on that far side. Ben Salem can't let that hurt them, though. they got to just try and keep their offense going. And they'll try to here with this free drive just inside that 25-yard line, but not a very good hit on that play by number 9, Kristen Veradale. And North Penn will get their free out. Megan Sin sending for Moser a little too far. And it will go out of bounds just inside midfield. And it will be taken on the far side by Rie Miller on the free inbound. Picked off nicely by Susan Ducilli over that end line. Off of a 
Ben Salem player, so North Penn will get their free hit. Susan Ducilli will take this now. She'll slap it up. Jamie Willis, the great pass to Nikki Leone. She gets around her defender and still goes with it. But is called for the foul, and North Penn loses possession. Ben Salem takes it up. It's Rie Miller across midfield. But the ball goes over the end line, and Leslie Mogenberg will pick it up for the Maidens. And now it'll be Megan Sins with the free drive. Taking it in across midfield. Bouncing around, Moser picks it up. It's Leone now with her back against the defender. Rie Miller draws the foul. Now Leone slapping up. Jamie Willis and Alyssa Moser double teaming on defense, but Willis is called for the foul. That was against Kristen Clayton who slaps it up. Good job on the high ball by Alyssa Moser she'll draw a foul. Susan Ducilli takes this one for the Maidens. Toward the middle, knocked around a bit. Good keep by Moser. She'll pick it up, but coming out is Kristen Clayton working against Moser. Good job getting that stick down on defense. Look at that work by Moser. That's excellent work showing why she's captain of this team. Yeah, and then definitely why she's a starter, too. I mean, that's definitely good stick work by Moser. I mean, that's what you have to do just to try to get to one of your players for scoring chance. Free hit from about 25 yards out, taken by Sudu Silly. Sent into the scoring circle, but taken out nicely by Rie Miller. Now it's Susan Du Silly. Jamie Willis is going to work on it now. Taken out. Megan Sins takes a hack from number 32, Alicia Rowane, and draws the foul. Good job by Sins on that play. Sue Ducilli will send it toward the goal, but well wide. Roaming over to get it is Christina Ford, the goal scorer. And now picking it up and sending it out nicely is Allison Meadows. Ducilli will send it cross field to Sins, just a bit too far ahead of her, and she cannot keep it in. And Ben Salem will take this inbound. It will be Rie Miller, the defender for the Owls, taking it in. Rie Miller sends it across midfield. Gets by Molly Meehan. She'll have to hustle to get back with pressure from Denise Bailey. And she does. Gets it around Bailey, but it's stuffed back in. Ava Lynn trying to pick that one up, and it's Meehan now. Ball just goes over that near sideline. And from 25 yards out, it's going to be Ava Lynn taking this inbound for the Owls. Gets through everybody, and a great play coming out to stop that one was Megan Schneider, the Maidens goaltender. Good aggressive play by Schneider. Megan Sins working on... Kristen Boradale and does. Now it's Sarah Ducilli sending across midfield. Nikki Leone on that far sideline. Alyssa Moser showing great speed. Gets by. Rie Miller. And another move past Miller. Moser all the way. The shot to the middle. And it pops out. Good individual effort by Alyssa Moser on that play. Very good individual. Very. She was just trying to stick hand on and center to one of her um, teammates. For another scoring chance, that was a very good uh, play by Alyssa Mosel. Ah, Moser. Sorry. What a great play by Sarah Ducilli on that play, going full extension and laying the stick down to stop a break for Ben Salem. Sarah Ducilli just sh showing one of the better defensive plays we've seen today out of the Maidens defense, who, as we've said before, has been extraordinary, only letting in 24 goals all year. And that's through 19 games, so they're only giving up about one and a half per game, and that's just an excellent average on defense. Megan Sin sends it off of Ben Salem's Alicia Rowane, and picking it up is Molly Meehan across midfield. Now Christina Ford off of her foot. Can't do that, obviously. And another timeout taken by Ben Salem. 
probably about midway through the second half with the score of one nothing. The Maidens taking the advantage on Christina Ford's goal, and we said in the beginning of the show, Brian, that Ben Salem would, or excuse me, North Penn would probably get the better opportunities coming off of the corners, but that goal was not a result of corners. It was just a, a scramble in front of the net, a mad scramble for that ball, and Christina Ford was in the right place at the right time and was able to put it by Ben Salem's Janelle Gorey for that goal. Yeah, she, she was just in the right place, and when you have a crowd in front of the net, goalie can't see everything, so it's bound to go in, and you just got to get lucky sometimes as a goalie just to see if you can try to find the ball, and just the maidens just got a lucky break on that, and that was a nice goal. So both teams discussing their plan of attack for the remainder of this game. Ben Salem will obviously be trying to get a little more offensive push and North Penn will try to get some offense, but their main focus for the remainder of this game should be defense. And as it has been for the whole season, the defense of North Penn has been a strong point for them. And they'll just continue to play strong defense, and they should be able to come out of this game with a win heading into the playoffs next Monday against CB West. Looking for that confidence builder, and North Penn appears that they're on the right track to getting that today. Ava Lynn will get things started again as she sends it into the North Penn zone. Good job by Karen Anderson in close quarters to get it out to Molly Meehan. Contact play against Ben Salem and Meehan will send it back into play. Whistle on that play, I believe it was a kick ball by Kristen Bohr at Dale. And Susan Ducilli will get things into play for the Maidens with the drive off of Leone. She'll turn around, cannot find Jamie Willis on the give and go. Amanda two coming out with it, working against Megan Sins. She gets by Sins, but Ducilli recovers and is called for the foul. Kristen Boradale sends it in, takes a chunk of grass, not a lot of ball. And the Maidens will have this one. She had about three inches behind that and could not make solid contact. Two will send it across the field nicely, but Nicole Kozlowski can't pick it up. Pressure on Meehan, but Meehan gets rid of it. Amanda Spaulding has that one go off of her foot. And it's sent in. Good control by Willis. Susan Ducilli picks up now. And a foul called on North Penn. Sending it in will be Kristen Boradale. A little better hit that time for her. And now coming into that scoring circle is Ben Salem coming out with a great kick to get that ball out of harm's way is Megan Schneider. But Ben Salem will have a long hit, a good scoring opportunity for the Owls, who are down one nothing as we speak. Since uh, North Penn has the lead, they're not going to be trying to get fouled a lot. They're going to watch their step and just because Ben Salem gets the free hits all the time. That might result in a scoring chance, so North Penn's going to try to watch that on their fouls. Baradell could not get anything going with that far hit and North Penn was able to send it out of harm's way but it comes back into the North Penn zone but Willis turns it around to her co-captain Alyssa Moser cross that end line on the far side and it will be Ben Salem bringing that ball back into play. Rie Miller toward the center good job getting it out was Megan Schneider coming out aggressively to take off that pass. And North Penn will have a free drive coming out off of the call against Ben Salem. Willis slaps it off of about three Ben Salem defenders. And Mogan, excuse me, Sins could not get that one out of the North Penn zone. And Ben Salem with a good scoring opportunity here, a free drive from just inside 25 yards but a good defensive check by Jamie Willis, but she's called for the foul. Ben Salem with a, another great scoring opportunity. It's a penalty corner. Nicole Kozlowski will take this one. She's gonna drop it out toward the top of the slot. In feet, but sent out. A kicked ball is called against Ben Salem, and that's a costly foul, and they're about ready to score right there, Brian. Yeah, I thought 
I thought that was like an in right there, but the the foul took it, and that was a bad foul on Ben Salem because that was a scoring opportunity for them. Ben Salem's Kristen Boradale is called for obstruction just at the top of her scoring circle, so North Penn was able to get the ball out of their zone. And now it's Alyssa Moser with the push looking for Nikki Leone. And the ball goes over that end line. Megan Sins will pick it up. Alyssa Moser taking a couple hacks, as is Rie Miller. And North Penn will come away from that with the ball. Megan Sins with the inbound. Toward the center. Good defensive play by Kristen Clayton. And now it's sent. Good job again by Clayton right before Nikki Leone was to take that pass from Alyssa Moser. Moser will send quickly looking for Willis. Off of Willis, she'll pick it up again. Kicked ball, North Penn with a corner. A good chance to put this one away. As a two goal lead is extremely difficult to recover from in field hockey, especially late in the game. Yeah, so they're gonna try to look for a scoring chance here and try to just close the bag on this game. Willis will take this shot, Meehan deflects it. And it goes off of a Ben Salem player inadvertently over the end line, a long hit for the Maidens on the far side. Megan Sins will set this up. The drive to the middle, taken by Miller. She'll just watch that one go over the end line and a 16 yard free hit coming out for Ben Salem trying to get something started. Miller off of the stick of Moser, who picks it up toward the center to Willis. Out again, Willis trying to work on Kalisha Chase. Willis trying to get that ball again, but cannot as it's taken out nicely by Kristen Clayton. She'll send to that far side. Picking it up is Jen Stevens, the forward, but a great defensive play by Sue, Sarah Dusilly, rather who's played an excellent game on defense for the Maidens. Yeah, defense is the most important part of the game. If you're not playing defensively, you're not going to play offensively, like we said earlier in the... Nikki Leone trying to work against Rie Miller. Cannot. But now she gets by her. Nikki Leone with a step. Trying to center. It goes off of Miller. But once again, great job by Nikki Leone to get by Rie Miller, and she'll draw the foul. Susan Dusilly toward the center. A penalty corner. There's a foul called on Ben Salem, North Penn, with another good chance to center to get a scoring opportunity off of this penalty corner. Molly Meehan will take it. She's the penalty corner specialist for the Maidens. She'll send it in. Here's Willis. Beautiful drop pass to Moser toward the middle. Turnaround shot by Nikki Leone. That's her trademark shot. We've seen her score many a goal this year with that turnaround technique, but it goes wide of that left post. So Ben Salem dodges a bullet and is still only down by a score of 1-0 with the clock running out against Ben Salem in this second half. Yeah, now would be the time for them to score. I mean, they're really, Ben Salem's really looking for good scoring chances and they're just trying to go for the net now. I mean, they're, they want to still be in this game. So they're going to be looking for those chances. Alyssa Moser, the drop pass. Foul called on that play. I believe it was a kicked ball. Ben Salem will set things up quickly as time is of the essence. Kalisha Chase will take the drive. Intercepted nicely by Sarah Dusilly toward the middle. It's Leone. A great pass to Willis, but it gets by her. Christina Ford now with pressure. Toward the center. Willis the shot. Deflected Moser. Where is it? Just in front of the net and a penalty corner rewarded for the Maidens. A great offensive effort right there. The only thing they didn't do right there is put that ball in the net. They came pretty close to that though, Kyle. A good job by Janelle Gorey to not let that second goal of the game in. Keeping it just a one goal lead. Wonder what's running through her mind now just probably to keep the uh, game close. I mean, she doesn't want nothing more to go in there. I mean. You know, obviously the whole Ben Salem team is just going to just try to get the ball out and look for an offensive chance. 
Behind to Moser, the shot deflected just wide of the left post. And coming out with it will be Ben Salem. So another bullet dodged by Ben Salem as this game remains. one nothing favor North Penn. A 16-yard free hit coming out for the Owls. Intercepted by Leone and Moser collectively. Goes off of Willis's foot. Ben Selm takes the drive coming out. But Sarah Ducilli is right there for the Maidens. Trying to send it across the field to Megan Sins, and she does. And Sins will drive it all the way down into Ben Selm territory just out of bounds. Rie Miller sends it back into play, intercepted by Leone. And Rie Miller picks it up again. Since it's so late in the game, North Penn's just going to try to run the clock now. They're not going to try anything fancy. They're just going to try to run the clock so Ben Salem doesn't have any scoring chances. Amanda, too, sends that across midfield, and Karen Anderson will send it over to Megan Sins. Ducilli took a hack at that, but could not keep it in. And Ben Salem will take this free hit. It's Miller again with this drive. Let's things set up, takes a hack at it. Intercepted by Sarah Ducilli. Miller again back into North Penn territory. Good defense by Sarah Ducilli playing an excellent game on defense for the Maidens. And it's picked up now by Nikki Leone with a step. And good defense standing tall, Crystal Carroll, but taken again by Leone. Toward the center. The high bouncer, a little too high, that's going to be illegal, and it will be Ben Salem taking the free out. Golfed by Maria Getz right over the line. And it will be Ben Salem, rather North Penn, taking the free drive. Ben Salem hits it out. It's Alyssa Moser at the 25-yard line, drawing the foul. Susan Ducilli tops this one, trying to send it in, and it's picked up by Lindsey Stokes. Coming over to get it is Molly Meehan. And on the near side, Kristen Clayton comes toward the center. Sarah Ducilli standing tall once again on defense for the Maidens. She'll send it toward the far corner. Coming over to get it is Miller. Pressure from Alyssa Moser. Moser is a little hurt on that one. That one went right off of her right hand, shakes it out a little bit. She appears to be all right, however. Hopefully it's nothing bad because they would need her when the, they need her when the playoffs come. And just uh, she lo she looks to be okay, so that's that's good. Yeah, taking a look at that right hand, she is and favoring it a little bit, but she should be able to recover from that. Does not appear to be serious. Karen Anderson coming back on defense takes the safe play out over to Megan Sins. Nice job by Anderson, the senior. But it did go over the end line, and Ben Selm will send it in with Christine Baradale taking this. Sarah Ducilli once again coming up huge on defense for the Maidens. Inbound on the far side. Rie Miller takes a whack. Ducilli overruns that, but draws a foul. She'll drive it just across midfield, but it's sent back in nicely by Miller. Moser with pressure on Miller's back. The two go at it on the far side, and Moser is called for the foul. Miller sends it right off of Moser's foot. She's getting a little banged up out there. But nothing doing on that play, and it will be Ben Salem once again with this hit. This one will go by everybody, and Karen Anderson will have time to settle. The little push pass is intercepted by Amanda, too. But Anderson is able to get it out. That one went off of Karen Anderson's foot, and it's driven in quickly by Ben Salem. They'll just set this one up again. North Penn's going to be looking to play a lot of defense here because they don't want nothing, a soft goal going in. 
So they're just going to try to get it out of their zone here. Look out around that goal area, but somehow that one came out. Megan Schneider there. was caught. Megan Schneider was caught out of that goal. Unfortunately for Ben Selm, they could not put that ball in the net. Schneider was lying on the ground, sprawled out. But it comes out of harm's way, and North Penn dodges their first bullet of the game. That was a great scoring chance for Ben Salem. Um, they, they just couldn't connect there, and uh, North Penn North Penn got lucky there on the saves there, and it's still one nothing, like you said. Ben Salem will pick it up and send it across midfield. Karen Anderson now will play it over to Leslie Mogenberg. Goes out of bounds by the slightest of margins, and it. It's a bad inbound by Miller as it goes out of bounds. Megan Sins will take the inbound for the Maidens, drops it off to Ducilli, looking to set up a give and go, but Ducilli recovers, gets shouldered off that play by Amanda Two, and Two is called for the foul. Good pass by Willis, long range to Nikki Leone, and she draws the foul. Nikki toward the middle with that one. And Moser's called for a penalty. Ben Salem will take that free hit. And picking it up is Kristen Clayton across midfield. Sue Ducilli called for obstruction as her body was in the way of Kristen Clayton's. Now Sarah Ducilli will pick it up. Contact on the far side, no call, clean play. Jen Stevens against Ducilli. This one will go far into Ben Selm territory. Leone at full speed picks this one up. Toward the middle, wide of the goal, looking for a cutting Christina Ford who could have had her second goal of the game. So a nice setup for the Maidens, just unable to capitalize right there, Brian. That was a very nice setup. Uh, I, thought, I thought that was a goal right there. I uh, thought she had her second of the game, and it's a nice pass from Leon, but it was just wide. So. Karen Anderson now will send to Molly Meehan on the near side toward the center, picked off by Ava Lynn. Not to anyone in particular, as Sue Ducilli picks it up and finds a wide open Alyssa Moser cutting toward the middle, a great inside out move against Miller. She'll draw the contact foul, and now Moser will drop it off to Sue Ducilli, goes over her stick, pushes it over to Amanda Spaulding. Trying to go down low to Christina Ford, can't hit her. Meehan and Ducilli working against Ava Lynn, and they draw the foul. Ben Selm trying to get an offensive push now as Kristen Clayton comes out with it. Across to that far side where it's Kalisha Chase. Foul on the play against North Penn. Ben Selm now will send it. A little too far for Kristen Clayton. Schneider will kick it out nicely to Megan Sins. And a good job by Sins to come out with that one. She'll send it out of bounds. And it is a North Penn free hit coming in. Sins with a good drive across midfield. And it's sent into the North Penn zone. Ben Salem has numbers if they hurry. It's Kristen Clayton cutting toward the center. Toward the middle and kicked out by Schneider nicely. On the far side. Baradale against Sins. And it's off of Baradale's foot. North Penn will take it out, and that's it. This game is over. North Penn pitches the shutout. That's their eighth of the year to close out this regular season at home. And a good way to celebrate Senior Day as North Penn picks up the one nothing victory on Christina Ford's goal and gets the shutout. From the sophomore goalie, Megan Schneider. A good overall performance by the Maidens on both ends of the ball today, Brian. Yes, yes it was. Even though they didn't see the ball in their zone a lot, they, they kept it out. I mean, it, there was a couple scoring chances there for Ben Salem, and they just kept it out and went on the offense. So. 
they're yeah. going to be looking for the playoffs now, and they're going to be ready for the playoffs. Yeah, as we said at the top of the show, Brian, they really were looking to this game to be a confidence boost, and it appears that they have done that, getting that one nothing shutout against Ben Salem. So a good job by North Penn to get that push coming into the playoffs where they will take on CB West next Monday. It's in CB West if you want to go to that game next Monday. The 23rd seeded North Penn Maidens will take on the 15th seeded CB West Bucks. Our player of the game is Sarah Silly, who has played an excellent game on defense, number 16, the junior. Really a great game by Sarah Silly. And the goal, of course, scored by Christina Ford. And the shutout goes to Megan Schneider. So the Maidens will now improve to 13-7-0. The Ben Selm Owls drop to 7-10-2. Your final score once again, 1-0. That's going to do it from here at North Penn High School's Athletic Fields. For Brian Patterson, I'm Kyle Berger. So long, everybody.